The island of Sodor is the home of the Northwestern Railway. With engines of all shapes and sizes. Working hard to deliver goods and passengers to their destinations. There are branch lines that run along the coast of the island. Serving the docks, the fishing villages and the seaside towns. There are branch lines that run to the farms, quarries, and ancient castles of the island's heartland. And there is the main line, which runs all the way from Natford on the west coast of the island. To Vickers Town in the east. The line continues over the Vickers Town Bridge where it connects to the mainland beyond. Percy spots James. Percy and James are good friends, but sometimes they like to tease each other just for the fun of it. But this can also escalate quite quickly. Friendship is still like that today. Come on, James, don't doze off. Your next train is due. Oh, gee, remarked James. I better get going. Thanks. Wait, my train's not due yet. My coaches aren't at the platform yet. Ha 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 ha, laughed Percy, and he puffed away with some empty trucks that were needed at the big station. That afternoon as he shunted the empty trucks, he saw the fat controller on his phone. Okay, I'll be heading home soon to take them to the doctor. Okay, love you, goodbye. What's the matter, sir? asked Percy. Oh, hello Percy. My children have come down with the chicken pox and I have to take them to the doctor today. They'll be fine. The doctor will provide them with some medicine to make them feel better and some calamine lotion for the itching. I had them when I was a child. Anyway, must be off. My children are waiting. Goodbye, Percy. And the fat controller left. What is chicken pox? Chicken pox is spots that we get all over our faces and bodies. They're terribly itchy though. <laughs> At the sheds later that night, Percy had been telling Emily and James about chicken pox and asked them if engines could get them. James thought he was being very silly. So he decided to have a bit of fun to get back at Percy. Oh yes, chicken pox are terrible. I knew an engine some years ago on the mainland that had them. Spread across all his boiler to his face. Oh, he looked terrible. Stop it, James, replied Emily crossly. Engines don't get chicken pox. And how do you know that, Emily? I've been around a lot more longer than you, and I've never heard of an engine with chicken pox. Well, just because you haven't heard of it doesn't mean it can't happen. The next day, Percy puffed out of the shed, ready to shunt. As James and Emily were steaming up, James decided to carry on tricking Percy. Look out for the chicken pox, Percy. Stop that, James. You don't know anything about them. 
huffed James. I do so, Emily. Oh, no. It's only the morning. Meanwhile, Thomas arrived at the harbour near the big station. He had to collect some paint to take them to the top station of his branch line, so it could be repainted. Oh, driver, stop! Oh, yuck! Ew! Sticky! Luckily, no one was hurt, but the workmen, Sheffield, Pug, Samson, and Thomas's crew could only laugh when they saw him. What's so funny? Oh, it's just you being all covered in spots. Thomas looked confused until a workman held a mirror up to show him. Thomas was very upset by it. It's not funny. I look hideous, he complained. Never mind, Thomas. We'll give you a good clean at the wash down later on. Meanwhile, Percy puffed along the main line delivering fish. But he was still worried about chicken pox. Oh, there's Thomas. Let's whistle to him. <gasps> chicken pox! What on earth is wrong with Percy today? Percy raced through the big station. And then rushed towards the harbour yard. The driver slammed the brakes on hard as they neared their destination. Luckily, he stopped just in time. What on earth is going on? Why did you come so fast, per se? It's Thomas. He's got chicken pox all over his face. James was right. Engines can get chicken pox. However, the only response he got was Pug laughing. <laughs> it's not funny, it's serious. <laughs> I know chicken pox is no laughing matter per se, but I'm laughing what you thought you saw. Thomas was here earlier and he had paint spots splashed all over him from bumping the trucks too hard. Oh, so it wasn't chicken pox? Of course not remarked his driver. And besides, James says a lot of things. Only people can get chicky pox, not engines. I had them as a child, and look at me now. Thankfully, you get vaccines to help prevent such thing. Vaccines? The needles you get from the doctor that helps you to feel better. Percy felt very relieved from what his driver had said, but he was cross with James for making him feel silly. I'll spot him back for that trick on me. whispered something to his driver. That night, while the engines were asleep, Percy's driver and fireman got to work. <laughs> Next morning, as James woke up, he could hear Percy and Emily laughing. <laughs> what do you two find so funny? Oh, nothing, James. Percy's joke was just spot on. He really tickled my soft spot. James puffed away, feeling very confused. As he pulled into the station, James could see passengers looking a bit worried. What is going on? When he arrived at Kelsort Road, Gator was waiting at the station for some trucks. Even he couldn't help but laugh. James was most annoyed. Everywhere I go, I see everybody laughing or looking worried. What are they laughing about? What are they worried about? What, what, what? I demand to know the meaning of it. Your, your face, it's all, 
<laughs> Spotty! His driver found a mirror inside his cab and showed it to him. Ah! Chicken box! He screamed. Don't come any closer! I... I don't know what to do! Help! Help! Ho oh, ho, old James! Have you gone down with chicken pox? Yes, and I don't know what... what... what to... Wait! You're not scared of them? Oh, did you have something to do with it? Percy only gave a cheeky grin. James hissed steam angrily. Percy! He yelled. What did you do? Just what I like to know, boomed a familiar voice. I got the paint from the harbour that was spilt on Thomas's train. I only did it to teach James a lesson about tricking me into thinking engines could get them. Chicken pox is not a laughing matter. It can cause headaches and itches. It's a good job it can be treated, but it can still be gravely serious too. So next time you make a trick, Percy, think of the consequences. James sniggered, but he stopped when the fat controller turned towards him. You too, James. Don't act like you had no fault in this. Everyone can be afraid of the unknown, and for making Percy worry about things that he can't even get, your spots will stay there as a reminder. But, sir... But nothing. My mind is made up. So for a few days, James puffed up and down the line with spots all over his face. And I'm sorry to say, instead of making fun of him, everyone he passed by gave him pitying looks. This made him cross. But he and Percy both agreed it would be best never to joke around with chicken pox again. <laughs>